Malaysia Lee. Right, y'all. What is up, YouTube? It's your girl Lay, and today it I am I am I am back home. Oh my god. The weirdest part about this video that I just noticed, y'all, I'm not even gonna cap, is that I have the same shirt on that I did the last video, but I promise it was a few months ago. And this was washed like multiple times between then, okay? Goodness Lord. I'm doing a high school advice video and I'm so upset that I did not choose a, a um, better um, outfit for this. I'm so sorry, y'all. But you're... Okay. So, I want to just communicate with you all about some things that you guys should know or things that I feel like you guys should know about high school before you guys decide to go to high school. Um, really public school, to be specific, y'all, because I went to a public high school... I went to a public high school, so I just want y'all to be a little bit more informed. Now, don't be trying to get the Addy, y'all, of where this is. It's not even my, this not even my house, y'all. So I'm just kind of here. Hold on, I'm sorry, my bad. Not me adjusting the lighting and not editing this, y'all. Y'all cool with this? Okay. So I do want to go ahead and start with the first tool of advice, which is when you go to high school make sure you're at a high school that you feel confident that you will succeed in sometimes when meeting with um meeting with like the faculty and staff at the school first and getting information and going into like the review section can give you a lot of information about um the high school etc and the reason why I say this is because high school is like one of the biggest things you're going to need like as an adult, like a high school diploma. And you're going to need that education that you learned from high school, whether or not you were in accelerated courses or if you were just in, you know, your basic regular courses. Um, with that being said, make sure you get to know your school before you go ahead and attend. And this is just, just to understand like where you're going, you know, and so you don't waste your time. Um, at a school that you are not going to be successful at. And then my second tip is going to be to go ahead and ensure that you have the right, um, hold on, let me actually think y'all, let me think. Because I had this like written down, but like we trying to be very unscripted today, okay? Because it's hot outside. I'm in Texas right now. Um, this, but just, you know. The second thing is just to make sure that you communicate with your professors. Not your professors, I'm sorry, I'm in college. So that's why I'm like, you know, I'm coming down here with the advice because I'm finished with that. So, and I was doing pretty good in there. So I wanted to make sure I let y'all know the advice because I can't just gatekeep the book. So yeah, make sure you're cool with your professors. That's number two. Make sure you're cool with your professors because, or your teachers. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm so stuck. I'm so goddamn stuck, y'all on college but make sure you're cool with your teachers because the college advice applies to high school advice for real and if you approach it with this approach that I'm coming with like you're going to be even more successful because you're coming with a more mature um effort than um than like a student that didn't really pay that much attention to these things or didn't list these things out you know and then the third thing is make sure um, if you are someone that loses motivation or it becomes a little lazy after not get, winning so much or getting all the best grades or understanding everything, then make sure that you go ahead and you, what do I say, make friends that keep you motivated. Um because that's going to really help you with um just staying motivated also like playing sports or doing some sort of club activity so that's going to all come into one like do a sports club activity or
do some sort of extracurricular activity to make you feel more motivated to keep your grades at a stable place so you're not going to really concern yourself too much about like schooling it's more going to be about like okay this is like what i have to do but this is what i want to do and it's okay to not always be all about school wherever the case may be but be about school but don't like you know what i'm saying like don't let it drag you down like you know and so being in a sport or extracurricular activity will help you do that this is the fourth or fifth and that is when if you're like a sore loser bro you have to let go of that idea that you're gonna always win or you're gonna always exceed in something or you're always gonna pass a test because there's a lot of harsh teachers or there's a lot of teachers that are gonna test you and they're gonna make sure like something is gonna be so hard that you understand that it's okay to lose or fail something and it's just about keeping your grades balanced so that doesn't completely affect your entire academic record bro so at the end of the day make sure you are not a sore loser like if you are one just find ways to just you know do breath work or something like find ways to release that urge to be so upset at whomever about being a sore loser because i used to be a sore loser i used to be like oh my god why did i fail this class oh my god especially since i was like a um i was doing half accelerated classes and half like regular courses so i had both experiences of you know having to do um act like fast paced work and then just regularly paced work um and that got me into college at like 15, 16, 17. And right now I'm 20. So. Um, and I was in high school. Like my, I think my sophomore or junior year of high school. I was in like my freshman year of college for a few classes. So I'm telling you like. Um, and then so don't be a sore loser. That's number four or five. I'll make sure I put the numbers on the screen. But I'm sorry y'all. I'm just coming in with a little quick information. Just make sure you have like a notepad or something like. Because it's really going to help you. I promise it is. And. The next thing is, is try your best to, um, whenever you are in confusion or if you don't understand everything, make sure you have, um, some sort of resources outside of school or make sure you know about, like, get the information about resources in school. So, say if the teacher doesn't teach that well you can either switch courses or you can get tutoring or you can stay after school or you can go on google and get some information like resources like can academy is really useful but i think they make you pay for it now so like stuff like that is really helpful especially for math stuff um because i was really bad at math but you know and still to this day i am but it's not because of school it's because i'm just very impatient for certain things so that's why i went to like get extra help outside of school like tutoring or googling like can academy um youtube videos i actually have a log a rhythm video you know how to find the base 10 logarithm or something like that and it has like 2k views so make sure i go watch that if you're in that level of high school where they're asking you questions like that <laughs> like seriously um and then another thing is um, just don't give up like and make sure and don't give up means like have fun take breaks but don't throw homework aside to the where you just throw it away and you're late and you're behind and stuff like that make sure you're like actually putting your effort in even if it's late because with communicating with your teachers and instructors it will really help you understand that everything's okay you're not as you're not in much as much of a time crunch as you think you are etc so just make sure you don't give up on yourself or school because a lot of people give up you know sometimes yourself applies to like your effort in school so make sure you don't give up on yourself or just in general like school because it's really helpful to just kind of like pace yourself um and understand like that if you communicate you know apply these little methods and little you know little things and i promise like you're gonna at least have 
a B. You know what I'm saying? If you at least have a B in one of them classes, like if you apply at least one of these things to it for real. Um, yeah, so just make sure you don't give up and that's gonna have to play into like turning your work in on time. Try your best to get your work done early and try your best to kind of study ahead like a little bit. Like even if it's just kind of reading things ahead of time, even if you don't want to, like just try your best because it's actually going to help like because you're going to feel like um, but, like you don't got to be cocky about it. Just be chill, like be humble and like try your best to really understand the material. Um, that's going to really help you. And outside of that, but I just wanted to come on here and say those things because I feel like um, make sure like if you have a little method do your thing but make sure you kind of stick to the real goal the end goal which is graduating and getting all your little qualifications that you need to leave school in a healthy way and I know it sounds green as fuck but bro do that shit do it now you going to school you're going to uh if you're going to high school do that shit and this is the advice that college gives me so do that shit y'all do it because it's gonna really help you just be a little bit more ahead and mentally ready like emotionally ready physically ready like i want y'all to be ready i don't want to see nobody out here homeless that younger than me i don't want to see nobody out here confused in class I want y'all to be out here like, I know what the fuck I'm doing in here. I'm not dumb. Okay, I want to see videos on YouTube like, I'm not dumb. Like, I know exactly what the fuck this is. Do you know how to do this? I'll help you. Or, I know what I'm doing. Do you? You know what I'm saying? Be confident. I want y'all to be confident about yourselves and about your success in high school. So, I just came on to talk my shit real quick because, oh, y'all see how me sweating and shit? But, yes, Lord. Um, I just want to make sure y'all understand that. So, take some fucking notes. God damn it. I don't want to see nobody out here selling weed, selling the drugs, and shit in high school. Like, if you want motherfucking get your motherfucking uh, diploma so you can get you a motherfucking McDonald's job to you get you a motherfucking qualification to go somewhere. Because most of these jobs out here only require a high school diploma or GED. So, I'm not saying don't, you know, go to high school. I'm, I'm not saying don't go to college, but like, um... If you a lazy worker and you just ready to finish school, finish high school at least. <laughs> at least. And that's not nothing personal. That's genuine, like, it's a respect thing. Like, I don't want to see no more people out here homeless and unaffordable. I don't care if it's my first enemy, bitch. You need to be working at least at McDonald's, bitch. At least. Because McDonald's don't accept nobody with no goddamn, with no high school diploma, I don't think. And they pay a good pay, like 13, 15 hour, bitch. Some people only paying ten dollars an hour, and you have to have certain qualifications from college to get in there. So I'm just letting you know. I'm just trying to put you on game. <laughs> Cause that shit had me fucked up, y'all. I literally went through a lot um, in high school, um, kind of not following these things that I kind of picked up along the way and in college. Um, and as a like a, a dual credit student doing credit courses, college credit courses in high school, and they weren't in the High school I was actually at a college so I didn't graduate college y'all I finished school um in high school but I'm still doing school in college so I just wanted to come on here talk my shit and hop off of here put you on game and hop off of here use at least one to three of these damn tips so um people can be successful y'all can be successful or tell a friend to tell a friend send this video to somebody or at least we're screen record just got a clip of some shit but hey bro this the key right here this what we missed out on okay do something because i don't want y'all to be out here um struggling and shit okay Ooh. <laughs> what happened to my damn skin tone yes y'all but yeah um that's all i gotta say um don't do drugs kids